In July of 1959, the Vice President of the United States, Richard Nixon, visited the Soviet Union. This visit represented the first time that high-ranking officials from the United States and the USSR had met since 1955. While in the Soviet Union, Nixon toured the American National Exhibition, which had just opened. As part of this exhibition, a model home had been constructed, which displayed many of the modern conveniences available in the United States, such as dishwashers and washing machines. As Vice President Nixon toured the home with Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev, the two leaders debated with one another over the industrial accomplishments of the two nations. As they reached the kitchen, the debate became heated. Khrushchev argued that his own nation focused on necessities, while the United States was obsessed with luxuries. While viewing the many labor-saving devices, he sarcastically asked the vice president, Do your people also have a machine that opens their mouth and chews for them? Eventually, the two leaders agreed that their nations needed to do a better job of cooperating with one another. This exchange between Nixon and Khrushchev became known as the Kitchen Debate, and it earned Nixon a large amount of respect with the American public who saw him as standing up for American ideals and principles. During his visit to Moscow, Vice President Nixon invited Premier Khrushchev to the United States. Khrushchev accepted this invitation, and in September of 1959, became the first premier of the Soviet Union to visit the U.S. While in the United States, Premier Khrushchev visited many different locations, including Los Angeles, San Francisco, a farm in Iowa, the city of Pittsburgh, and Washington, D.C. The premier concluded his trip to the U.S by meeting President Dwight Eisenhower at the President's private vacation resort of Camp David. At the conclusion of his 13-day visit, Premier Khrushchev felt he had developed a strong relationship with President Eisenhower and was certain he could achieve peaceful cooperation with the United States. It seemed, at least for the moment, that the icy relations between the U.S. and the Soviet Union were beginning to thaw.